you, you might get lucky in that regard, but you're not going to sit around the house all day. You're not going to sit around and play Xbox all day and then go out and do a couple of claims and expect to, to be successful. Uh, it's just right. not going to happen. No, you're not going to hit that six figures every single year if that's what you're doing. This is Adjuster TV. Adjusters first. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Kaplik. Learn all about E&O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. I mean, and there's a lot of work up north in the wintertime too, but I mean, in the summertime too, but guess what? You know, there's certain types of the year, times of the year that, you know, hey, that's where the work is at, you know, and that's where the better work is at certain yeah. times of the year. And it's, it's, there's, you hear all this stuff and it, they don't tell you that on a lot of these people. And that's one of the things that, you know, whenever I first started consuming, you know, adjuster TV videos and, and watching those, is that when I watched yours compared to a couple of other people that I'd found, it just felt like that you were telling the truth. You were telling this is this is what you're going to do. This is what you're going to expect versus I just felt like I was getting blown too much fluff by these other people. And it was just like, you know, it just seemed more real. And, and I think you've and over the five years that I've known you is that you've stuck to that. You've stuck to this is not an easy job. This is you have to work at this job. You're not going to run out there and, and find success immediately. This job, this career is not for everybody. You know, um, if you're a homebody, you know, um, this is not the career for you. I mean, if you there are people that might happen to be in an area that's very underserved by adjusters. And they decide to come into this and boom, they can get work and they can stay in their own backyard. But I can tell you right now, there's not volume in those areas either. You know, you can get a decent amount of, you can make a decent living. You probably make more money than the average person in your neighborhood, you know, but it, overall, if you, you might get lucky in that regards, but you're not going to sit around the house all day. You're not going to sit around and play Xbox all day and then go out and do a couple of claims and expect to, to be successful. Uh, it's just right. not going to happen. You're not going to hit that six figures every single year if that's what you're doing. But you've been very real about that. And that's one of the things that I'm just happy with my association with Adjuster TV because it tells the truth. And whenever people ask me, you know, about, I get this all the time. Hey, James, what was it like to get one-on-one -on -one training and mentoring by Matt Allen? I'm like, oh, well. <laughs> Despite popular belief, I can count on one hand how many claims Matt actually walked me through. Okay. Right. And it was probably two or three, you know, that, yeah. that you really, you really helped me with. And, and, and the rest of it has just been just more or less support. And then like, Hey dude, you can do this. You know, it's just, you know, yes, I've leaned on you for some, probably some philosophical questions or some, or procedural questions more often than anything else, or, Hey, what's your opinion about this, which is what you can get from anybody else that you become friends with. But that's just about as far as it's gone, you know, and uh, I, I do believe that, you know, my association with you may have opened a few doors, but I still had to perform whenever I walked through those doors, you know, and it wasn't it wasn't yeah. easy. I mean, it, I still had to do the job. I still had to climb the roofs. I still had to sweat. I still had to mend from falling off a roof. You know, I mean, I just, I, all that stuff I had to do on my right. own. But it it's 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 been a great career in, in the association with Adjuster TV. Um is 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 great because I think you tell the truth. I think you give the realistic picture of what this career is like. You know, we can talk about the money sure. all day long, but that's never. You'll notice in my top five, I never mentioned money. Okay, that had nothing to do with my oh. top five at all. Um, the money is a byproduct of all those other things. You know that yeah. that's and the, and the satisfaction I get from all those th other things. Go back to when I first got in this, and I'll stop my little monologue here. But uh, when I was in Houston during Hurricane and Harvey and I was managing a group of tow trucks, you know, and, and we were pulling all those flood cars out for the insurance companies. And the guy comes up and, and I see and I, and I talk to this guy that I'm a, that I went to high school with, Danny Peevler, who is no longer an adjuster, by the way. Uh, he's gone on to bigger, better things that was more associated with what he did prior to becoming an adjuster. But um, Danny Peevler, this is what he said. You know what? If I take care of the insured, the money takes care of itself. You know, oh, and, yeah. and, yep. and that's what that was the statement that really pushed me whenever I came home from that, you know, being down there. And I came home and I told Dawn, I figured out what I'm going to do when I grow up. And she goes, what's that? I'm going to become an adjuster. She goes, what's it going to take? I said, I'm going to do some training. I'm going to do this or do that. And she goes, how much is it going to cost? I said, oh, about this much. She goes, do you need a credit card? 
I said, no, we got the cash. If you want to watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad-free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.